Oh boy. Bit a bit late. But this year's AutoCAD is 2013. That's the uh, student version, so it's it's free, free for students. Uh, here's what I designed up for my rear end install. 48.8 I'm putting in. This top one here is the Data 35. Uh, this is how it sits right now. The pinion stock from the factory is six degrees. So right at the transfer case angle is, is that. At the uh, pinion, this is the pinion. This here is the pinion I uh, read. Uh, this is the U joint on the pinion. Those little squares with the X's in them. And the white, I guess, is the pinion. But uh, that is the uh, angle. And the drive shaft sits at 12 degrees with a 3.5 inch lift kit. Uh, and the pinion uh, sits at 6 degrees. I just uh, checked with this handy dandy uh, angle finder I got from Princess Auto for six bucks. It works great. I have a really expensive one, and that cheap one works just as good. So, down here at the bottom, if I tune my pinion up to 17 degrees, that uh, sounds like a lot, but uh, with a taller lift kit, as you can see, with a six and a half inch lift, which I plan on getting for my Jeep in the future. I got a bit of a cold, don't, don't bother with that. The uh, transfer case area will be like that kind of angle. And then the pinion will be exactly straight. That's what I'm looking for. If I didn't fix the pinion with the same amount of lift kit, that's six degrees right there. Yeah, they would have that kind of angle. Which doesn't look that much different from stock, but the way I have it AutoCAD, I guess it is a bit different. With my three and a half inch lift kit I have now, and uh, the new Ford 8.8, .8, since the entire case is an inch and a quarter longer, it, it, takes, it takes this pinion and pushes it that way. So my drive shaft will need to be shortened. As you can see right there, it's it's way too damn long. Uh, let's see. What's this one? I already showed that one. This is what my pinion will look like when I'm done doing my swap. My pinion will be tilted a bit too high for the axle, which is which is completely fine, but when I get my uh, other three inches, three and a half inches lift, the total six and a half inches, uh, it will be nice and straight. Absolutely perfect. And what's also good, I would keep my drive shaft I have now, but it's bent. So I'll keep it, I'll take it off, I'll get a new one, but I'll keep it as a spare drive shaft because with the new lift kit and the 70 degree pinion, everything slides up if I can just zoom in here. Everything lines up absolutely perfectly. Absolutely perfectly. Uh, so, I, my drive shaft I'm currently is bent because I got it from a junkyard. I'm going to look for uh, a Jeep ZJ like mine. Uh, well, this is what I first did. Uh, when I did my AX15 swap, the drive shaft needed to be three inches longer because the transmission was shorter. So I went and got a drive shaft from a 5.2 liter uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee 1998 or whatever year that came in. And uh, that was three inches longer, worked perfectly, same U joints, but it was bent because it's from a freaking junkyard. So I'm good with drive shafts. I just, I just, I'm just hoping there's one in the junkyard that's not uh, bent. Or I could go to my License issuers uh, salvage yard, SGI. They charge out the ass. That's where I got my axle from. It cost 400 bucks. For rick and expensive. I can get a drive shaft from them. It would be reconditioned. Uh, it'd be perfectly fine. But until further news, the 
so it looks like I'm close. Maybe tight fit. I'll show you what I mean by perfect over here. See? Just absolutely perfect. This this here, this point to this point. Is almost four inches. If you go measure your U joints on your Jeep, uh, they will measure just shy of four inches. It fits absolutely wonderfully. So, until further news, I shall talk to you later.